let a be the first term of the arithmetic progression and let d be the common difference. Therefore, the m plus 1th term is equal to a plus md. The n plus 1th term is equal to a plus nd. And the r plus 1th term is equal to a plus rd. We are given that these three terms are in geometric progression. Therefore, the square of the middle term is equal to the product of the first and the third term. Expanding both sides, we get a square plus 2and plus n square d square on the left hand side is equal to a square plus ad times m plus r plus m r d square on the right hand side. a square cancels on both sides. Let's call this result 1. Now we are also given that m, n and r are in harmonic progression which means that 1 upon m, 1 upon n and 1 upon r are in arithmetic progression which implies that 2 upon n is equal to 1 upon m plus 1 upon r or in other words, 1 upon r is equal to 2 upon n minus 1 upon m, which is equal to 2m minus n upon mn, and therefore r is equal to mn divided by 2m minus n. Let's call this result 2. Substituting the value of r from 2 in 1, we get 2a n d plus n square d square on the left hand side is equal to a d times in brackets m plus mn divided by 2m minus n plus md square times mn divided by 2m minus n. This can be rewritten as d square times in brackets n square minus m square n divided by 2m minus n is equal to ad times in brackets m plus mn divided by 2m minus n minus 2n. d cancels on the left hand side and the right hand side. Taking common denominator on the left hand side, we get d divided by 2m minus n times 2m n square minus n cube minus m square n on the left hand side. And similarly on the right hand side, we get a divided by 2m minus n times in brackets 2m square minus mn plus mn minus 4mn plus 2n square. 2m minus n cancels in the denominator on both the left hand side and the right hand side taking n common outside the bracket on the left hand side and on the right hand side cancelling out the mn terms within the brackets and taking two common outside the bracket amongst the remaining terms on the right hand side. The equation therefore simplifies to dn times in brackets 2mn minus n square minus m square is equal to 2a times m square minus 2mn plus n square. This can be written as dn times minus of m minus n whole square is equal to 2a times m minus n whole square. m minus n whole square cancels out and therefore d upon a which is the ratio of the common difference to the first term is equal to minus 2 upon n which is the required answer.